Hi guys, welcome back to another best of five series in between the two pro players as once again we have a great international engagement in between them as the spawn here on Tropical Sacrifice in the upper right in the blue. It is Clem from France and his opponent here in the lower left in the red. It is Dark from South Korea. So very interesting games here, best of five like I told you and very recent replays from December 2022. Sadly, I don't know the exact tournament but i don't really think it matters as dark is of course considered one of the most talented zergs and clem also doing really really well lately so quite an interesting gameplay here we have in between them let's just check their build orders clem opting to go for a standard build order i'm sure he's going to continue with his gas yes indeed so supply depot into barracks then gas and by the looks of it dark is going for his fast expansion build so nothing yet out of the ordinary there, spawn gear on top of sacrifice. Notice how Dark is of course scouting the map for any proxy barracks, but yeah, no such thing yet from Clem. So the pretty standard open up we're seeing here. Let's just have a look what exactly Clem is going to be going for. Of course, many Terrans really like to harass the Zerg with their Malivax, with their bio units, with their Marines, their Marauders, and so on. But some Terrans, like we've seen Maro do recently on this channel, also like to go for mech build orders with hellions, hellbats, even some banshees and some tanks and even some battle cruisers. So it would be very interesting to be seeing some battle cruisers. Always cool to see those units as Clem decides to scout now the map at around the 1 minute and 40 second mark. Sees the overlord. Let's check dark. Of course the pretty standard build order by him. Yes, into spawning pool and I believe that around the 2 minute and 30 second mark of course like in the previous replays we might see him go for that a second expansion now Clem of course has to check this and as soon as he sees the fast expansion he knows of course there is no rush coming towards his way so that's exactly why he's already having his expansion also on the move so yeah nothing out of the ordinary pretty standard stuff let's see what Clem does now he's acting in a factory and Pretty sure he might continue with a starport. Checking dark once again. The first queens are of course getting spawned. And yeah, the pretty standard stuff like I told you. The reaper is out just to annoy the mineral line. But this will of course end as soon as a queen pops out here very very soon. So yeah, dark of course known for his nice micro. Saving those zerglings. Clem does a pretty well job here. Harassing the mineral line a little bit. But of course the queen is out. And Clem is of course also going to scout this expansion point here. As Clem's expansion point also about to get finished here. The overlord takes a nice position. Of course Dark is known for his Nidus Worm harassment. So this overlord would be really important to stay into this location. Also with a speed upgrade. Always important to scout the main from the Terran. So yeah there is that starport. Clem could even go for a Viking first. Just to snipe as many overalls as possible in the air so yeah he's still roaming around with his reaper of course he's going to try to find as much information as possible let's check the main still no tier 2 for dark still no roach warren so he might go really heavily into those banelings into those zerglings and even queens and yeah let's have a look the overlord is slowly but steadily closing by he really wants to see what is going on and there, there is that viking what i was told you about and even one marine is on patrol here for uh, for Clem. So finally in comes the Overlord. Needs to hurry up a little bit as the Viking is about to get finished here and double hell in it is for Clem. So yeah the Overlord did scout a little bit now he's retreating as Dark is just preparing his creep spread. He's just preparing his macro game and yeah there is that Roche Warren so we might see a timing push by him not going into tier 2 yet so could be a timing push but in the meantime Clem actually deciding to attack with four hellions and one reaper as the viking will of course take care of this one overlord so pretty nice first blood here for Clem as he's still trying of course to attack the queens however in the early game are of course really tanky against those hellbats so Clem might try to add a medivac there it is a medivac that can pick up of course those hellions and just harass the main or this expansion point yeah, the first roaches are getting spawned here by dark so very soon we could see of course a attack towards clem's base there is he once again moving out with more helen so clem really wants to damage the economy from his opponent quickly as possible he might try to attack on two different bases 
there is that many back there are the Hellions, but actually dark looking like he's pretty much going to commit here for it with his uh with his roaches so let's see if clem will have to retreat currently his viking just provides cover here for that medivac as he's going to drop it when queen is ready here but all of those Hellions will of course target the mineral line here from dark no actually they have stopped and turned into hellbats but that's really strong the queen is followed but in the meantime here comes Dark already attacking the main entrance from Clem. So let's have a look. Even the Viking has landed here. Some drones will fall. Dark did a nice job bringing all of those drones into safety. Two have still fallen. But the main entrance is pretty much breached. We do have a bunker in the back. Uh, that's also here. Very, very tanky, really strong. And some Marines are in the back. And this one important tank is really, really strong here. So, of course, Clem has to defend this one. Dark tries to take out the, the tank. Almost takes it out, finally it's getting taken out, the SCVs have been pulled, so lots and lots of chaos, lots and lots of damage, but we do have a Liberator in the air, so this Liberator is going to be, of course, really important. In the meantime, those Hellions didn't really deal any damage into the main, so Clem holds, but I believe his Hellions have been killed here, worker-wise. Still the same worker mount for both players, as Dork is still pushing forward, but Clem nicely holds here. The Liberator in one tank has been snapped, but the second tank is out and the Liberator is also somewhere hiding here. So the harassment by Dark didn't really work out. The timing push was really strong here by Clem. He did, of course, snap some drones. And yeah, pretty, really nice early harassment by both players. Nice attack by them as finally things have settled down a little bit. So the bunker also really important. The tank in the back. Always nice for the Terrans to hide the tank in the back so that the Zerg don't really reach it and that one liberator might have taken out by dark as dark once again prepares an attack which is ravagers his roaches and some zerlings here for him as well so let's have a look what will happen is he going to once again try to attack as clem decides to take another expansion point dark not taking his uh, fifth fourth sorry, <laughs> expansion point and yeah let's have a look if he's once again going to try to attack forward versus the base from Clem, but Clem looking really strong, only needs to rebuild those supply depots in the front, but he might now get a good flank, Dark might get a very good flank, nice around here against all of those units, the siege tanks are a little bit late into sieging up, once again the SCVs have to be pulled, and said here for Clem he might lose many many SCVs as those Ravagers really can deal splash damage with the Ravager balls in the air, so yeah, the fireballs haven't been added yet, but still 17 SCVs have been killed, Finally now they attack the tanks as once again another tank might get taken out so dark really damaging here especially the economy from the terror from Clem Clem losing 22 workers and once again the SAVs have to be pulled back as Dark still tries to damage of course all of those SAVs. The SAV after SAV is getting killed here Dark with a very very aggressive move out, really really strong move out by him. Still 27 SCVs have been killed, so Clem sadly for him dropping to 37 as Dark just relentlessly just keeps adding more and more of those units, not going into a third expansion, just pretty much throwing everything he has towards his opponent. Once again taking out a tank, but Clem holds on. Yes, even he has to call some units, but still 32 workers have been killed here, so really really strong stuff by Dark, but at the same time Dark also losing army quite a large amount of army so still the army from Clem looks really strong in the end this expansion has been taken once again and Dark still staying around with some zerlings and at the same time Clem now finds the courage to move out we might see a timing push here by Clem as well if he calculates it well if he's adding a siege tank let's have a look what exactly he's going to be doing he really wants to perhaps cancel this expansion point by Dark he might have scanned it those overlords also pretty much exposed and yeah in comes Clem with his dropships towards this location but Dark seems to be ready for that he has so so much creep spread out all over the map so so many overlords are here as well and Clem indeed going for this expansion point going straight for it so he's going to force a cancel but Dark is very much nearby nice micro here by Clem and in the end he manages to cancel this third expansion point by Dark so Pretty good harassment by him at the same time buying time um, for his own expansion point as we're closing in towards the 10 minute mark so good hold by Clem in the end sadly for him his economy really suffering as he's still down 46 workers versus Dark 66 now but he also 
damage here. The uh, hatchery from Dark but in the end, not really sniping so so many workers. Stark just roams around the map, just search for any other attacks here by Clem. As Clem might try to attack here straight in the front, but the creep spread is really really strong. A lot of dark here towards his enemy. So let's have a look how things will unfold. The uh, newly established uh, base there mines some minerals as the tanks are in the back to back it up. So very important to have those tanks in the upper part and just to um, protect them with some marines with some valuables. As Clem is still roaming around the map of course he wants to damage the creeps but at the same time he is also scouting for any push out here by Dark but Dark no such thing by at him. However he does have an overseer and we did I did told you about his uh, Nidoscorms. We also see you no know, Nidoscorm versus Maru and is he really going to once again try this Nidoscorm? There is this Nidoscorm connection into his main Clem seems to be ready for that with a supply depot, but his main army is out with those medivacs. Finally, at the same time, Dark preparing an attack here with those roaches, with those ravagers. So let's just see, he's perhaps just faking an attempt here for Nidus Worm as his main army is just launching an attack here towards his side. So, so many roaches, so, so many ravagers, but we do have marines with steam. We do have tanks on the high ground, so lots and lots of splash damage could be taken. And the SCDs once again have to be pulled here by Clem, so really, really hard game for him as once again his economy is going to suffer here 10 SCVs already have been killed nicely kiting those marines back and forward the medivacs are also nicely healing and yeah the SCVs will give, give cover but he has so much damage being taken army wise sadly he has also lost so, so much of that army so really really hard game for the french player versus dark and yeah dark once again tries to regroup or is he going back into this one night as well some roaches already here let's just see if dark is going to decide we indeed go for Nidus Worm here. We have a nice tank in the back for Clem. We'll give cover. We'll try to kill this Nidus Worm if it's going to happen here. And yeah, Dark seems to be ready to put all of those units into a Nidus Worm. Let's just see if he's going to be successful versus Clem. Or is he going to try something else? Yeah, he's just roaming. Currently he's just roaming around, just producing more and more of those units. Supply-wise, he's pretty much in the lead, so let's have a look. Is he going for an Ida Swarm? Is he going to try once again to punch here forward into the main? Is he going to perhaps add some Vipers? Vipers really strong to support those units on the ground with some planning clouds. Clem still has a lot of lot of bio, a lot of lot of marines, nice tanks here as he's adding more and more of those tanks. But yeah, really a hard game for him versus Dark. As Dark just patiently stays home now, expanding, still expanding all over the map. He's upgrading Boro, so we might him even go for a Boro rush versus Clem as he Clem a very defensive gameplay now for him but hold on actually he decides to push out with quite a strong army 105 of the supply and at the same time we do see the Nidus Worm so sadly for Clem his one tank has moved out and now he has to actually come back at home to defend this two marines are already shooting down this uh Nidus Worm at the same time some board roaches are moving here forward so really a nice multitask the worm has been sniped as Clem is now attacking the middle of the map, he might get surrounded. Nice Pyros versus those tanks. But the Roaches are now attacking the economy from Clem. So Roaches all over the place. Clem needs to make up his mind. Is he going to attack forward or is he going to come back? And yet another Nidus Swarm here into the main. But the main force for Dark is out here on the map. And as Fireballs in the air, so many backs have gone. Still Clem is attacking with those steam marines. The Roach is really taking quite some damage. The Ravagers as well. Tanks are now finally sieging up as they will be able to deal lots and lots of splash damage towards Dark Dark, even adding those queens back. But yeah, Clem just suffering more and more of those casualties. He's also killing some drones, some roaches, some ravagers, but yeah, in the end, Dark just having way, way too much. And those roaches in the back killing some SCVs here and this here location. So three roaches here, three roaches here. Pretty much a great multitask here from in between the two pro players a very aggressive game number one for dark versus his opponent here versus clem sadly for clem his harassment didn't really take out so so many bones in the main from dark so dark holding on really really well and constantly harassing just constantly attacking clem so clem forced to stay on the defense and yeah dark's gameplay really worked out very very well now responding here on data c as we have in the lower left in the blue clem from france and in the upper right 
in the red it is dark from south korea let's have a look if anything is going to be changing into the build orders dark like in the previous game already moving out with his overlord scouting the map clem looks like he's going for that same build order supply depot into barracks and gas and yeah dark also opting to go for the same build order just like in the previous game so yeah nothing out of the ordinary data seed is going to be let's have a look what exactly is going to happen if anything is going to be changing here especially for the gameplay for clem versus his opponent and the adult also once again scouting the proximity for any uh, proxy barracks here but yeah no such thing for clem as he's playing very very usual here so yeah like i told you quite a aggressive move out here by dark dodge is pretty much showing his skills and also adding that nice touch with those three roaches attacking one expansion and the other three roaches also attacking the other expansion a yeah, quite multi great multitask gameplay here by dark and yeah let's see if clem is going to come back and somehow going to be able to punish this time the economy from dark much much more here as he's going into his first reaper going straight for this one expansion point so just like in the previous game pretty much the same build order for both players fast expansion here for clem as well as the overall is currently moving here forward and let's have a look if it's going to be a double barracks for clem this time even a triple barracks or is he once again going for a factory harassment with those hellions and yeah the scv has also scouted the expansion point the reaper just like in the previous game also comes here forward and yeah the overall is also scouting the proximity here from clem as he's going for a factory yeah pretty same stuff here 2 million and 20 second mark we have the second expansion for dark as the um, expansion point is getting attacked here by the reaper and he actually killed one zerling he might even take out a second zerling but he needs to be careful against this one queen so nice first kill here for clem this time taking out one zerling as dark just keeps spreading more and more of that creep of course and adds the first drones into this location same time into his main nice spreaded uh, spawning pool here not adding him in here next to this location as he's going for that speed let's just check Clem really quick also adding this starport swapping the factory so he might go into aliens he could also go into some mines it would be interesting to be seeing some mine drops mines are also really well really good versus those zerglings even against the roaches on the ground and yeah let's see the next steps is dark going this time for a faster tier 2 is he going for the same build order once again with a timing push with some roaches with some ravagers and clem needs of course to add more and more of those tanks just to defend against a timing push so currently he's getting some nice scouting information with this one reaper and uh, hellion city is going to be once again for him Clem is going to try to be more successful another viking just like in the previous game so yeah, nothing has changed for clem yet he's once again trying to harass of course the mineral line the queens are ready to defend more and more creep is getting spreaded more and more queens are being added so pretty nice stuff here by uh, dark slowly but steadily we're closing towards the five minute mark clem tries to punch here forward but those queens are really nicely spreaded by dark and more and more creeps are getting more and more of those creep eggs are getting added by dark in the first Aliens already take some damage. Let's ch check the main really quick. Some more order this time. So we have a more tankier unit this time for Clem. It is indeed going to be more orders with concussive shells. So this could be the answer against any roach push. Early on as Clem is also trying to find a better position for his um, aliens here towards the expansion point. He could be lucky here, but there's really so, so many queens out for dark and yeah really, really hard for him perhaps he's going to wait for a medivac it would be really wise for him to take that medivac and perhaps land into this location dark goes for a tier two let's see more and more hellions are being added perhaps clem is going to try to punch forward as the viking and the medivac with the two marauders have been added so clem might even try to snap the queens it's very very hard but it could be a possibility for him with those concussive shells to attack the queens and just take out queen after queen same time is also expanding here adding more and more of those barracks adding stim let's see he is in location but the queens are on the high ground 
Taking damage, in comes the Medivacs with the concussive shells, Marauders, and yeah, the Queens have to be microed out. We even have Hellbats on the ground now, so much, much stronger and tankier force. So remember, Hellbats can also be healed by the Medivac, but the Medivac is really, really low, so Dark might try to take it out. Hellbats still dealing damage. One Queen already has been fried. The second Queens might also take some damage. Look at all of that splash damage, so much, much stronger gameplay here by them versus the previous game as he's snapping so so many of those queens and dark in some serious serious trouble here as he is taught micro but the queens are really very slowly moving here and the hellbats just show their strengths remember they're slowly moving because of those concussive shells from the marauders so the marauders bringing in a nice touch as now dark pretty much has went into those paintings but a nice spread here by clem i'm just showing his nice micro versus dark still so so many paintings getting some connections and one marauder two marauders are still alive the viking has been sniped in the end dark is going to hold but at what cost he has lost so so many queens some drones might have get sniped here as well worker wise they're pretty much the same and yeah dark with some heavy casualties but in the end also taking out a huge amount of the army look at the small amount of the army here so both players pretty much hurting each other really really nicely as clem will hold of course with the hellions against the zerlings so very aggressive move out here by clem Really strong, really nice touch with those Marauders, with the concussive shells, sniping those Queens, slowing those Queens down. And yeah, with the Hellbats, he was able to deal so much damage. We see a double macro hatch here, gameplay by Dark. So around the 7 minute mark, he's added 2 hatcheries here. Let's just see his plans. Is he going for mass Zerglings with Banelings, like he has shown us in a previous game? Could it be... A attack with some roaches once again could it be some mutilisk or surprise with some mutilisk everything is possible as clam is preparing of course another attack towards his opponent this time with marines he might very likely attack into this location so dark knows this of course he has added those soilings he has added those paintings as the medivax are moving out backed up by some helen so let's have a look he's indeed going to be attacking this location and yeah, worker-wise, Dark having 10 more workers than his opponents, so this is exactly why Clem tries, of course, to attack the expansion point here. But yeah, Dark seems ready with Phoenix, with Zerlings. And let's just see what the next steps are going to be. Another expansion is being added here by Clem. More and more units are getting produced. Of course, you can see the production tab in the upper left part. Massive amounts of uh, Marines. It is going to be upgraded Marines for Clem versus his opponent so he's going to try very likely to bust here forward with mass marine with some hellbats on the ground and medivacs but yeah let's just see what exactly dark's decision is going to be is even going for a tier 3 and the yeah, bane is getting some very good connections here however Lem decides to attack the main very likely but there's so many spores for him so he needs to be careful some soldiers need to be pulled back to defense so Lem not really making anything up happen here as he's trying of course with his second task force to attack but dark seems to be ready for this with his zerglings with his banings on the ground so nice kiting back and forward here by them he's able to take out a couple of banings but in the end he will have to of course to pick up and perhaps try with another attack at the same time another task force is being added here by him into this location but at the same time if you look at the minimap dark decides to attack with massive amounts of zerglings they are all widow mines on the ground, but those zerglings are really fast. Finally, some banings will be snapped here. And in the end, once again, the you know, mineral line here is being attacked. At the same time, I'm responding here with a nice attack. However, 20 SCVs have already been killed. Banings have gotten some good connections here versus Clem. And Clem is pretty much being also deviated here, pushed back with some wins. But at the same time, he's pushing forward way right towards this one hatchery so he's looking like to cancel this one hatchery but the paintings once again are rolling forward so once again a hard hard game here for Clem not almost taking out this expansion at the same time also almost taking out this expansion and worker wise is once again suffering here versus on dark but he's still very close by so he might try once again to attack this expansion point so so many overalls already here waiting in comes Clem once again dark is not here with his Units finds a nice position, goes for the hatchery, I believe. Yeah, still a spore here, so quite, quite hard to attack the expansion point for Dark. So really great defense here by Dark versus his opponent. Is He's now once again adding some Zorkings, some Banings and some Vipers. So this is the tactic from Dark. Massive amounts of Zorkings with Banings. 
versus massive amounts of infantry here for Clem. Quite a nice, interesting second game. This hatchery is still bleeding. Now it's finally getting healed by a queen. Same time, Dark moves forward with some mines here, but yeah, there is an overseer, so Dark should be fine with this. Same time, once again, Clem is attacking with a quite a strong force. He still has a great army supply. No tanks for him. He's going into many uh, into mines. So mines, of course, are great. And so against so so many. Zorgins and Penis, hold on, we do have a good position here for uh, Dark as he's moving aboard with some parasitic bomb against those medivacs, really hard to out micro this and all of those medivacs have been killed all of a sudden, but at the same time 17 drones have been killed here, so Clem with a nice touch here with those two mines, finally also punishing the economy from Dark, so Dark has dropped to 54 workers and Clem all of a sudden having a small advantage here as he also has this expansion into his location it's even a planetary fortress, so quite a strong game here by him, getting those mines while attacking, so of course Dark couldn't defend at multiple places, so really nice stuff, and remember Dark really heavily into those zulings with banings, while Clem just decides to go mines, and mines seems to be the answer against all of those, and there it is, massive amounts of mines for Clem versus the zulings versus the banings, I think a much better decision than tanks, Mines seems to be the answer against this macro game by Dark. Against this massive amounts of Zerling Banings and Vipers. So yeah, that's heavily sadly for Clem. He did lose so, so many Medivacs in the air. Thanks to those great parasitic bombs by Clem. Sorry, by Dark. So let's have a look. Dark still expanding all over the map. Having those Vipers in the air as a support. Very, very important unit to have. And Clem is moving forward with his mines in the front. So, so many mines. Six mines needs to protect them of course and they are not that much being added here by dark finally once again a parasitic bomb but we do see the ultra risk now on the ground and ultra risk of course will be ready to handle all of those infantry or clam so clam has to find perhaps more tanky unit perhaps more and more marauders need to be added as he's now finding the high ground he's having a good position against so some units but some ghosts will be added here as well as dark just keeps on pushing forward mine's getting some good connections as Clem is still nicely cutting back and forth, but yeah, still a great blinding cloud here. The Ultra is taking also quite some damage. Some things will get some good connections. 12 SCVs have fallen, and the Dark seems to be pushed back here as those mines will be a saving grace here for Clem as he still added those mines. So we will be able to kill unit after unit with those mines. Dark really nicely just adding one or two Zergens in the front just to soak up the first damage from the mines but yeah army wise if we look at the army clan pretty much having the double amount of army versus his opponent as he's now pushing forward with his uh infantry so look if dark is going to be able to hold this the ultra list guard of course really strong versus the infantry but at the same time clan also expanding all over the map and yeah not that many ultra risk are being left alive just a couple of zerglings some banes will be really important but yeah the mines have been added here and let's have a look clan attacking on different fronts Nicely cutting back and forth when with those marauders with the concussive shells he's able to inflict damage. Same time Dark tries to counter, but there are mines on the ground. And let's have a look, some mines still getting some connection with so so many banings. And yeah, pretty good defense here by Clem with massive amounts of mines. The CVs are dropping really low, but at the same time he's finding the courage to attack here versus Dark. Dark still attacking, but yes, this has to be the victory for Clem. In the end, his supply was way, way much higher here. So much, much better game here for Clem into game number two. Widowmine seems to be the answer versus the aggressive macro game by Dark. So Widowmine instead of tanks and, of course, Hellbats in the early game. And we're back with game number three in between the two pro players. Currently, the score is 1-1, one to one, so please ignore this 0-0. Zero to zero. I don't know exactly how to update this. Now we are spawning here on Stargazers as we have Clem spawning here in the upper left part as the Blue Terran and his opponent Dark in the upper right as the Red Zerg. So 1-1 one one it is. Let's have a look. Quite a great game number 2 out of Clem. Really really strong stuff by him. And he's also showing us that um, Mines, the Widow Mines seems to be the answer against a aggressive Dark who is going into a mac macro game with mass Zerglings and Banings. I believe tanks wouldn't have been the wise decision, but yeah, Clem just teaching us with Terran that Widow Mines, perfect answer against the strategy from Clem, from Dark, sorry, 
So let's just see what they will prepare for us. Seems to be the same build order for Clem. Same goes for Dark. So both players just opting to go for their same build orders. The overall is also scouting out the map. So pretty standard stuff like in the previous game. Let's just see if something is going to change out of the strategy for Dark. His Roach or Ravager push went out really really well in game number one. So let's have a look what or if he's going to be going once again roaches and ravagers he might even try some ultra risk some mutilisk could be very interesting and is clem once again going to be going for his alien push with the widow mines or is he going to try some tanks some battle cruisers some mech be very interesting to see as dark is already mining this location so he's very likely going for his second expansion point very soon around the two minute and 30 second mark there is his spawning pool, but interestingly enough, no extractor for him. Let's have a look. Yes, just save that money for the second expansion point. In the meantime, Clem also adding here his expansion as his one SCV, the important SCV, just to scout out if there is an expansion or not here for the Zerg. So as soon as he's going to be seeing the expansion and the timing, he knows the strategy. He's also going to scout the next expansion point. And now he very likely knows that there is an expansion into this location right here. He stays here with the SCV, adds that Reaper. Yeah, the pretty standard stuff for him, just like in the previous games. Factory and very likely into a starport very soon. Let's just see if this Reaper is going to be able to do to deal some damage against the Zerglings. Perhaps be lucky and snipe a Zergling or a drone. As no win is being spawned here, interestingly enough, for uh, Dark, but. I'm almost losing here this one Reaper, so nice, nice stuff by um, by Dark. This one Queen has indeed been spawned here for Dark, so I didn't see this one. So one should be spawned here as well, and the expansion will be finished very, very soon as the Reaper is still scouting the map. And yeah, Clem at the same time also taking his expansion, so very nice um, macro, very nice greedy gameplay here by him. A very, very fast second expansion for him as well, so he knows, of course, the dark has added this expansion so he's answering kindly with another expansion for his own so most players are preparing their macro into the game and we have a difference here for clem as he's going for a barrack so no starport for him straight into another barrack so we might see a push once again with some marauders with some hellbats as dark will very likely prepare his defenses with some queens and let's see when exactly or if he's going to be adding a roach warrant. And see the creep is also nicely getting spread here by Dark. Really, really great spread by him as more and more drones will be added. Of course, Dark at 32 versus the 34 Lem. And let's just see the Marines with Sting are being added. Some transfer here with those barracks. As we see a factory and now finally a starport also being added here by Clem is of course trying to once again punch it forward, but Dark has a nice spread with those queens. And he should be able to hold. At the same time, Overlord is taking some damage. No Viking yet for Clem as his starport is about to get finished. So let's just see if he's somehow going to be lucky to punch it forward with some Hellions with this one Reaper. We do have a Roach Warren, so I completely missed this one. So we might see. Dark once again try to punch forward with some roaches, with some ravagers. It worked out really, really well in game number one. So it looks like he's going back into that uh, strategy. No roaches are yet being spawned. Steam is about to get finished here for Lem. There's so, so many Marines have been added here by him. So yeah, slowly but steadily, we're close towards the five minute mark. Still no major damage, uh, no major damage taken by Dark out of those Hellions, out of the one Reaper. His expansion has finished and yeah more and more workers will be added of course here by him as he's going really heavy now into those medivacs no hell bets yet for him just this one factory so let's see what his plans are no widow mines as well i guess he just wants to know what exactly the strategy for dog is going to be as he's added those two medivacs so he's very likely going to harass the mineral line into this location but yeah dog seems to be ready for that with some Queens with some roaches on the ground, even some Zerglings. So let's have a look. It's getting a good scouting information here. He's moving forward, but yet dark. I saw so many queens into this location. Let's check his main. There is a tier two being done, and we also have some evolution chambers for those upgrades. So Clem is pushing forward, of course, snapping the queen eggs. 
but Dark is ready with some roaches. So now Clem knows what exactly he's up to. It is indeed going to be roaches. Perhaps with some ravagers, let's just see his reaction. Still adding now finally tanks. But tanks is going to be, of course, the answer against the roaches. If it would have been Zerglings with Banings, he would have found very likely once again for those mines. But we do have roaches and ravagers as Dark is now moving forward with those overlords. He might try to do a drop. Let's have a look. The Roaches will, of course, take care of those Marines. They're really tanky, really strong. This is the Marines, but Clem might try to take out the expansion points here from Dark. So, quite a nice, nice game we have here. Game number three it is, as the Overlords are very close by. Let's check the main ones again. Lots and lots of barracks are being added, so Clem decides to go for a massive pile. Uh, marine Marauder perhaps push with some Medivax as the Medivax is also being done here by him as Stark also quite stands by he's just defending really really nicely not yet deciding to push out with his units so yeah his overload creep the overload spread is actually really really well so he knows exactly when or if a uh, Medivac pull out is going to happen but we do have a transformation here into an overseer so let's just see what exactly the plans from uh, dark are here as more and more roaches have been added does he have perhaps a nidus swarm? we're about to find out as the overseer is now going to move forward and he sees all of those barracks so he knows what the plans from clem are here yeah still lots and lots of roaches let's just check there is indeed a nidus swarm so dark once again going for nidus swarm versus clem but Clem seems to be pretty much exposed into this location. This one here as well as only one changeling has been added. So Clem really preparing for a long macro game. And let's just see if Dark is going to allow this as he's being able to defend versus those units. So we need to be very careful with this one Night of Swarm. And yes, so, so many overlords are also being spreaded here. So this one location pretty much exposed here for Clem. It would be a target for Dark as Clem now decides to put push out he's going to regroup with his units and very likely going to attack the expansion for dark into this location but a nice beeline has been formed with so so many queens and the clam is actually attacking with so so many marines on the ground the hellbat has been added some tanks have been added here but the flank looks really, really strong here for dark as a nice kiting back and forth nice team the tanks are finally getting some good connections here but such a better position here for dark as he's able to kite forward with those roaches Dealing so much damage here against um, Clem, so even the army count seems to be really, really strong. And actually, Dark decides to move here forward and not taking the Nidus Swarm, or is he just moving forward with the Overlord as well? So, his economy looking really, really strong. 64 workers, and we actually see a Nidus Swarm here into this location. So, a double attack by Dark. Clem really needs those tanks there, they are, but they're immediately getting targeted by those the fireballs of the ravagers and the wall of is really really nicely but let's not forget that dark has denied us one and they this expansion here is pretty much exposed for clem and yet another nice worm into this location so clem now has to walk back with his army his expansion is pretty much under siege nice cutting forward here by clem clem should hold this location but remember his expansion is pretty much under attack and yeah so so many units already moving forward towards the other scvs even some queens have been added so Clem pretty much under siege, he has to come back with his main forces and the so so many worms are getting added here by Dark as he's attacking left and right here so quite a great great multitask once again here by Dark and yet another worm has spawned here so so many more units will move forward we have a nice engagement here and so so many marines so so many tanks in the back but Dark seems to be having so so many more reinforcements pulling here forward even attacking this location and 35 workers or even 40 workers have been killed so then sadly for him not having any defenses under that expansion point causing him here this game so a great great strategy here by dark with nidus one with multitasking so the score is two to one and we're back with game number four the score is two to one for dark as we're spawning on waterfall in the upper right in the blue it is clem from France and his opponent here currently leading the series 2-1 to one. it is dark from South Korea waterfall it is going to be quite a nice multitask game number three out of dark as he was able to held the main attack out of Clem and then just adding that one nice night of swarm into that location bringing him the victory sadly for Clem he didn't have any resources he didn't have any defenses there into that expansion point so of course dark abusing the fact 
and those overlords sadly haven't been snapped by Clem with some Vikings, so maybe he's going to be trying to add some Vikings into this game just to be able to take out the overlords. And yeah, let's have a look. The build order looks pretty much the same here for Clem, just like in the previous game. Dark also adding this one expansion. So yeah, nothing out of the ordinary yet, as the overlords are also scouting the map. So pretty much the same build order here, both players staying royal to their build orders. Just going to be seeing what exactly the next moves are going to be if Dark once again is going to be trying those Roaches, Ravagers pretty much worked out well for him or if Clem is going to be adding some mines, tanks are a good answer for those Roaches, Ravagers but in the end Dark just had too much into game number 3 so yeah 2-1 to one it is, let's see what's going to happen here as the spawning pool this time with gas has been added here by Dark and yeah the overlord is also nicely making his way here towards the first expansion point of the Terran. So yeah, pretty much the same build order. The scouting SCV is also out to see the expansion here for Dark. There's that spawning pool. So yeah, Dark very likely is going to add the 2 mid and 30 second expansion point here also. So yeah, still like I told you, the build order pretty much the same like in the previous games. Most players staying loyal to that. The SCV just with a nice timing scout sees the drones that are being World here forward, even gas has been mined here out of this one drone. So Clem knows exactly the build order. The first queens have been added, just like in the previous games. So yeah, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. There's the factory. So Clem looking like he's going for one barracks into one factory and one starport very soon for him. And yeah, the first Reaper is out. Let's just see if Clem is going to be lucky here. Is he going to be able to snipe one Zerling, even one? Uh, drone he very likely might try to add massive amounts of reapers it would be interesting to see but of course the reaper very weak in the late game in the middle of the game so yeah the queens will be able of course to take care of this one reaper and there we have the expansion for dark so dark just staying royal towards his uh, build order and there we have the expansion which is about to get finished here for clem as well as his factories also get finished but we see a difference he's not adding a starport is adding yet another command center here so pretty interesting stuff here by Clem and he's very likely going to try to harass Dark with some Hellions or is he there's the starboard but expansion first for him so once again Clem preparing a more micro oriented game versus his opponent we're about to find out how exactly that is going to work out for him as Dark is pretty much droning up right now he's at 27 workers versus the 26 for Clem and his overlord is also nicely scouting this area here just to give him vision just to very soon scout the main from Clem as the first aliens are also moving out here for Clem double hell even, even quadruple alien here for uh, Clem as he's moving out he's very likely going to target this location the queens are already here to defend so Dark knows of course this and let's see if Clem is going to be somehow lucky with his first aggression here towards the expansion point for Dark Dark of course who's going to bring some queens here forward into this location and yeah many many more queens have been added by him as Clem might try to bring in some reinforcements which just staying back with his Hellions let's see expansion also being done into an orbital and we see a difference he's going for a Banshee so Banshee really good you need to have him with Cloak here and we see more and more creep eggs have been added. Let's just check the main from Dark Dark or yet tier 2. So we might see something out of the ordinary by him. Maybe some investors could be an interesting idea. Let's just see what's going to happen here. What exactly the plans from Dark are. Is there a Roach Warrant? No, it's actually a straight and Nidus one for him. So no Roach Warrant or at least I don't see a Roach Warrant. Maybe he hid it somewhere. Just straight and Nidus. So he's going to try a timing push with a Nidus. Um, he has this one overlord here into this location a very important overlord to have queens also out so even more and more zerglings are being produced here for uh dark so let's have a look what it's going to happen if this is going to work out indeed it looks like a night of swarm aggression but there is one marine scouting here the location so there we have the first night of swarm the marine is ready but is it going to be enough the bench is out and some scvs have to be pulled so I'm luckily for him reacting really really well but at the same time first Zerglings are moving here forward the Nidus Swarm has been killed some Zerglings will be killed here as well 
At the same time, another Knight of Storm has been added here, and many, many Zodians are going here forward, but they will, of course, be dealt with really, really fast by the SCVs. More and more Zodians have been added, but Clan really has to take care of this one Knight of Storm into this location. Luckily, somehow, this Knight of Storm has been finished, and now it's getting healed by the by the, the Queens. So really, really lucky, lucky heal here, lucky, lucky timing for Dark somehow finished this one straight into this one expansion point the benches will be able to take care of those units but there is an overseer in the air so sadly for clem he has lost this one expansion point so really really nice and lucky very i believe it was just a couple of seconds here difference for dark and is this going to be the winning move we're about to find out there's many many more worms have been added here with massive amounts of zerglings the beans will be nicely able to heal themselves up on creep with the creep axe on the ground so and we even have some pings now being added by Dark. So Dark with a very strong push here towards the 6 minute mark. I think it was the 5 minute and 30 second mark. As he said at the first worm into this location. Steam is about to get finished but sadly here for Clem his expansion are pretty much exposed. And yeah he's not mining, he's just mining straight for his main. And now the banings will try to bust here forward. Clear the way towards an attack. The banings are rolling forward. The bunker is being that the Zerglings are also here, the Queens are even attacking from the low ground, and yes, that has to be, of course, the GG, so Dark taking this uh, series quite in style with this Lucky, however, he was really, really lucky, let's face it, it was just a couple of one second, even a couple of milliseconds here, those benches would have attacked this one, when really early the aggression would have been, of course, held, but still quite a hard, hard game for Clem, our series for him and yeah dark really showing us interesting strategies with uh, those night swarms on the ground making it happen just luring clam into this location and then just adding another one here with those zerglings giving cover of course so yeah nice nice series dark taking it three to one once again i hope you enjoyed this replay cast we'll be seeing of course in the next replays this is tommy signing out